Rejoice, barren one who has not given birth. God is telling the Jewish people, okay, even though you have done sins and the temple was destroyed, but you can be happy. Pitzri Rina Vitzali, rejoice, break out in in song and rejoice. Lo chala, the one who is not sick. Let me just find this here. Excuse me. Here, I'll just say the words. Isaiah 54. There it is. All right. Sing out, O barren one who has given birth. Break into glad song of the jubilant. You have been, have not been in birth travail. Lo chala. Chala is like to, to be in the, the birth pangs. Kirabim bani shomamim. Because many of the children of the desolate one will outnumber the children of the inhabited one, says Ha. Shem. In other words, the, the number of people that are going to be after your exile are going to be more than the people that were there before. That was before the temple was destroyed. One second, let's see where it goes. Um, that's right. When you come back from the exile, there's going to be more people. Hirchivi makom alech, widen the place of your tents. Widen the place of your tents. Here. Widen the place of your tents, the Rios Mishkanotayach, and the, uh, the, how do you say, the, the, um, The like rolls of, of cloth. Let's see how he translates it. One second, here's what he translates. Yeah, the curtains. Oh, the curtains of your dwellings. Let the curtains of your dwelling, you realize the curtains of your dwelling, let them be spread out. Don't make any calculations, <clears throat> and you should strengthen yourself and don't worry, lengthen your cords. You will burst out to the right and the left. Your offspring will inherit nations and they will settle desolate cities. Yamin was small tiprozi. Right and left you will spread out. The Zarek going Yerash and you will inherit the nations of the world. And cities that are ruined, you will sit in. In other words, what does he mean? The job of the Jewish people is to educate the world. So the world, places which are desolate of any meaning, Jewish people are supposed to put meaning into the world. al don't be afraid. Kilotivoshin, don't be ashamed. al halmi, and don't be like embarrassed. Kilotachpiri, because no one will do you evil. No one will, will humiliate you. No one will kiboshet alumayich tishkachi because the shame of your youth will be forgotten and you won't remember the cherpa salmonasayach and the, what do you say, the, 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 um, the embarrassment of your uh, widowhood won't be remembered anymore. What's he, what's he mean? God is rejecting the Jewish people. He's rejecting them. He's saying, I don't want your temple anymore, and you're going to be, the, the temple is going to be destroyed. He says, but don't think that this is in any way permanent. Don't think it's any way permanent, because the fact of the matter is, is you're not being punished for your sins. The whole entire thing is just to purify you. Because your master is your maker. Who is your husband that you're divorced from? It's from God. You're not divorced from me. The one who will redeem you is the Holy One of Israel. 
the God of the whole world he is called. Because just as now temporarily you are forsaken, just as now you are forsaken and left, but God is going to call up, call you. The Asia Nuraich, you are the wife of his youth. Kitim as Omar Elokayach, because you are like the wife of one's youth. The temporarily, her husband got mad at her. Suddenly, he realized, what am I doing? But Rega cut in just one moment. As of Tich, I have left you gone. With great mercy, I will gather you together. <clears throat> In other words, all the Jews wandering around the world, <laughs> the physical world and the spiritual world, like it says in the heaven, even if you're in, in the Torah, even if you're scattered to the four corners of the heavens, nevertheless, I will gather you in. Well, only a brief moment. And there's a whole entire exile, 2,000 years will be like nothing. Because what? Beshetsev Ketsev, in a moment of anger, he started Panai, I have hidden my face just a moment from you. Bechesed Olam, but with eternal love and mercy, God, I, you will be redeemed. That's your, it says your Redeemer. Because the waters of Noah, he may just like the waters of Noah will be. Waters of Noah. Just like I swore that there will never be any more floods so I have sworn that I'll never get mad at you again. Because the mountains will move and the high places will tumble. But my love for you will never move. And my covenant of peace will never, how do you say, never, uh, another word for move, another, never, what is he translated? Another word for move is um, falter. Oh. Fault, falter, good word, falter. Uh, Omar Merachamecha Hashem says, the one who loves you, God. So this is the ultimate uh, comfort that God is giving us. You know, a lot of people say God left the Jews. A lot of Jews say God left the Jews. And, you know, we got to do it ourselves and God is not with us. And the fact of the matter is, is we see it's totally not true. Hashem still loves us. So let's do one or two sentences. We still have a little bit of time. So let's use the time, put the good use to the time, and see. Here we've got Parshish Kitise. Let's do one or two of the sentences over here. Oh. Here's a commandment. Like we said, the 72. I said that the, another opinion says that there's not 73, but rather 74 commandments.